Mr. Holmes feels better today. How so? <laughs> Mr. Holmes feels so much better, we're about to start an investigation. Of what? The crime wave that has done away with a number of our April's most prominent residents. Well, if you need suspects, you know where to find me. Mum, wait. But if we asked, Mr. Holmes would um, do his thing. The thing he does where he tells people who they are and where they've been, just from looking. Do Mum for her. I I'm sure your mother doesn't need to be told where she's been. Let's not bother Mr. Holmes with any foolishness. It's not foolishness. Here. You come and stand in front of Mr. Holmes, just like that, and he will tell you where you've been. Do it. You want her to turn in a circle? No, that won't be necessary. Turn in a circle. You've been away most of the day. The soot on your dress attests that you went by train to Portsmouth. As all nearby rail lines which might accommodate a return trip of this length are under repair or beyond it. In Portsmouth, you met the couple who run the hotel. Your hair and nails are evidence that you wish to make a favorable impression. They made you an offer you accepted. You declined tea and did not see the sister for whom you have no particular fondness, using my indisposition as an excuse to hurry back. Wasn't an excuse. You accept it. Start the week Monday. Both of us. We're both going. She wants me to be a boot black. Roger. She wants me to do what she does. There is no shame in what I do. You complain enough about it, always going on about how hard things are. And how you wish you had it better? She can barely read! Come after me. Apologize for saying things that were meant to hurt. You were cruel. If you don't apologize, you will regret it. People always say that. Because it's true, moi je regrette tellement. You regret? So much 